data is coming down at a rate of speed like we've never seen before. And it's being multiplied across more sensors and more satellites than ever before. So what that means for us down on the ground, building these ground systems is you've got all these pieces of data, zeros and ones, you need algorithms to transform that data and you need to be able to take mountains of data and find that needle in the haystack that basically says, here is something meaningful. Here's a volcano. Here is something else from a weather event that, that is key that needs to be communicated rapidly. But at the end of the day, what it means to get to these decisions faster, we want that volume of data. We embrace these mountains and oceans of data that are coming at us because that means that there are more needles in these haystacks. U.S. Has, has done so much to lead early um, space development. And every day on the news, we see examples of different data sources, whether it's um, EO or weather or synthetic aperture radar in some cases, airborne imagery. It's just becoming more and more of our daily lives. And as more nations participate and launch their own capabilities, it just enables um, the fact that a larger coalition of space missions can work together in a different way. So coordination is key. Uh, a couple a couple points to, to extend there. Obviously there's the technology and being able to share data and share tasks across different boundaries, if you will. So there's a technical challenge there. There's also a major policy implication as well on how different nations put in place the policy to be able to work together, uh, to do targeting together, to do tasking together, to work together on a common mission. Um, each one has a different policy for data sharing, each one has different national space policies and all those sorts of legal considerations as well, whether you're talking about launch or ground operations or the space operations themselves. Some of the enabling technology out there is obviously standards uh, to make things work together. A large part of this is gonna be driven by uh, policy arrangements between multinational organizations. Each one has a different niche capability. The sum is greater than each of its parts. So what we really need with our, our partners from a space perspective is just the recognition that we don't go into coalition activities alone. We never have, whether that's a, a disaster um, response or a military operation, we're always going in with our partners. So if one partner comes in with specific ground assets, different analytics, a different space sensor perhaps, the ability to combine all those together is always gonna give you a different uh, piece of information than you would have had just going at it alone. On our program, uh, we are highly motivated to go find technology building blocks from anywhere. I mean, literally, soft, this is software, this is hardware, so we can pull in innovation from any source. And honestly, I truly believe those are the kinds of things that speed us up. We can go to a small company and say, hey, you've got a better algorithm, you've got a better mousetrap. Let's, let's use that, let's work together, right? Um, and put that building block into our system. So that's not something that we have to go now build new lines of code from scratch, speeds us up. It's like, it's like as if you're building a car, we can now go out and get the best tire, the best engine, right? And put these pieces together faster and bring mission value.